Hey everybody, so today is lesson 100. So I put the balloons, it's exciting. Our 100th lesson. This is 95% just vocab, and then um, I give you a picture and you have to identify the vocab, but it's pretty, it's just vocab. All right, so what is a circle? A circle is that thing. So I'm gonna give you the actual definition of a circle that I think a lot of people don't even know. Um, a circle is a set of points. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do my best to write neatly. A set of points equidistant. Sorry. Equidistant. Why I'm struggling, guys. Equidistant from a given point. The center. So if we have the center, so I'm going to call it P. This is circle P, right? That's the name of it. So if you think about it, because of the radius, the circle is all the points that are the same distance from P, right? All these points on the circle are the exact same distance from P. So that's the actual legit definition of a circle. Okay, what is a radius? It's a segment. Right. We know it like when we see it, right? Okay, there's my P and then there that's my radius, right? We know that. So now let's its definition is a segment with endpoints at the center and on the circle. Right, so one of the segments is in the center, one is on the on the circle. A chord. A chord is a segment with endpoints on the circle. So if I take any two points on the circle and connect them, that is a chord. A segment with endpoints put both endpoints on the circle. So if I call that BV, right? so that is chord BV. All right, the diameter. So again, these are things that we probably know. The diameter goes through the center. It's the chord that goes through the center of the circle. A chord that passes through the center. And one fact that we know is the diameter equals two times the radius, All right? So if the radius is five, the diameter is 10. All right. So far, that was everything that we knew. We're gonna get into some new stuff now. All right, secant. So a secant is a line that intersects or passes through I'm going to say passes through. I like that better. Passes through exactly two points on the circle. So if I pick any two points on my circle, and I draw a line that's going through it. So it's not a segment, it's a line, right? So that is a secant because it's a line that's passing through at two different spots. A tangent line is really similar, but instead of passing through at two points, it hits it exactly once. A line 
that intersects a circle at exactly one point. I think of this as, imagine, think of it like skipping a rock, okay? So if that's my point, that's the point, and there's my tangent. The tangent gets really close, but it only touches at that exact one point. Point of tangency, that point that we just, that I just um, drew, is your point of tangency. So if we name that Q, Q is the point of tangency. It's the point at which the tangent line intersects the circle. Central angle. So think about what central means. So central is like the center, right? So the central angle is, if this is the center of my circle, the central angle is this. It's an angle where the vertex of the angle is, on the is at the center of the circle. An angle with the vertex... at the center. And then notice the other, the two sides of the angle are radii, right? So that's a radius right here. Right? This is a radius and this is a radius. So, um, and the two sides are radii. An inscribed angle, a little bit different, instead of the vertex being in the center, say this is my center, right? The vertex is on the circle. Okay, so it looks like that. An angle with its vertex on the circle. and its two sides are, what are those, right? What is this and this? Those are chords. Okay. All right, what's a semicircle? A semicircle is half, half a circle. So from here to here, a semicircle is half the circle. Okay. And it always equals 180 degrees. It, oh, its endpoints are on a diameter. Endpoints on the diameter. And it always equals 180 degrees. Because right? a whole circle is 360. So a semicircle is 180. All right, an arc. An arc is just the por a portion of the circle. So if I have like this and this and I connect them, that little curve there is called an arc. So we call that A and B. It's the, a portion of the edge of the circle defined by two endpoints. A portion 
of the edge of the circle defined by two endpoints. And we use a curve for the symbol. So the symbol is just like that. It's a little curve. All right. A minor arc is an arc that's less than 180. So the one I drew above is, um, is a minor arc. So if it's less than 180 degrees, that is a minor arc. an arc with a measured less than 180. And we use two letters to name it. We use two letters to name it. Alright, so that would be named AB that arc that I drew there. Right. So you always use two letters when you have a minor arc. A major arc is where the measure is greater than 180. An arc with a measure greater than 180. And this time we use three letters to name it. And the reason we do that, like, so let's say I have A, B, right? Well, there are, there's really two A, Bs. There's this A, B right here, or there's this A, B out this way. So we need that third letter to know like which way we're going. So I'm going to throw C in here. So the mi major arc is ACB. Because that tells me I'm starting at A, and then I'm going over to C, and then over to B. You could also name it BCA. <clears throat> AB is the minor arc, right? Because it's the, the minor arc would be like that distance. So what would be exactly 180? That's your semicircle. So now we have, that's all our vocab. So now we're just going to, I want you to pause the video, look at this picture, see if you can name all the things in the picture. Um, the center is O and then this letter over here is Q and it's hard because it's a little pixelated. All right. So my center is O. There's a couple different radia, radii that you can use. You can say... <clears throat> OR is a radius. You could also say OA is a radius, right? Because it's from the center out is the radius. A chord. A chord connects two points on the circle, so that's QA. The diameter goes through the center, so that's RA. A secant goes through um, two points. So that's RA again, but it's a line. RA, but a line. So make sure you put the arrows on it. A tangent touches exactly one spot. So that's, it. A is the point, and then the, you have that line PA. PA, and again, it's a line, not a segment. The point of tangency, it's touching at A. A minor arc, the minor arc less than um, the whole circle, like less than half the circle, sorry. So that would be QA. What is green? So QA, and then you put the little arc symbol. Major arc, so again, you can write this in a few different ways. I would say QRA, either QRA or ARQ. QRA. The semicircle, what makes up the semicircle, that's RA. 
central angle. I don't even see a central angle in this picture. There is no central angle in this picture. So I'm going to draw one in. I guess the diameter is technically a central angle. So I'm going to add something in here. Let's make that a P. No, we already have a P. Um, S. Let's call that S. So the central angle would be ROS. Angle ROS. The inscribed angle, remember that's where this the vertex is on the circle. So that would be, we have A. So that would be this and that. So QAR. Right. So that's your vocab. Um, so your homework is basically similar to what your this picture. So it's really just getting comfortable with the vocabulary. All right, that's it. Have a great day, guys.